nursing homes might soon find themselves fighting not only the virus, but also lawsuits relating to their handling of COVID-19. They're asking for legal protection. Opponents say it would only incentivize them to cut corners. Our political specialist, Sean Boyd, joining us live. Sean, you've learned of legislation that would provide immunity to the industry. Right. Jim, nursing home advocates say they've been put in an impossible situation, unable to find enough masks, tests, even enough staff, and they care for the most vulnerable population. They're worried about a wave of lawsuits that they say could threaten the viability of the industry. Nearly 200 people had already died in Colorado nursing homes by the time the state sent the National Guard to do mass testing. Doug Farmer, who represents the industry, says they'd been begging for help for weeks. You know, working in an environment where you don't know who has the virus and you don't have adequate equipment to protect people puts us in the most imperfect situation we could imagine. A situation that he says sets them up for lawsuits. At least 15 states have passed laws with protections. Colorado could be next. You know, some attorneys will be out there saying, hey, we can make a quick dime on this. And Senator John Cook plans to bring a bill limiting civil liability for nursing homes and hospitals. As long as you know, they, you know, they, they can, they're acting reasonable and under the proper guidelines. We're incentivizing employers at that point essentially to cut corners. Employment attorney Laura Wolf says the law already protects employers who take reasonable measures. She says more protection will mean less safety and not just in health care. Every single employer that is considered an essential employer and has essential employees is going to ask for the exact same type of limitation to their liability. But Farmer says unlike meatpacking plants, for example, nursing homes have hundreds of pages of conflicting new rules and no option to close if they don't have enough mass. Lawsuits, he says, will lead to bankruptcies. And that means a lack of access for people uh, throughout the state. Now, the Trial Attorneys Association isn't aware of any COVID-related lawsuits in Colorado yet, but I did learn that the families of three of those JBS meatpacking employees who died have hired attorneys. The Colorado Sun reports that nearly 60% of all COVID-related deaths in Colorado have been nursing home residents, and Doug Farmer told me that many insurers have started putting exclusions in their policies for anything COVID-related. Political Specialist Sean Boyd covering Colorado First.